Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you create local resources for master project file when you have multiple projects inside as a sub projects and they are not using, once again, they are not using resource pool. If you want to see, is it possible to do it with resource pool, then you should look at my uh, video, which is uh, under number 100, Master Project Task and Resource Using Resource Pool. Now, for this purpose, I have two projects. Third project, it is uh, intentionally called third project, and that third project has two tasks, and if I go to resource and go to resource pool, you will see that I use my own resources. And those resources are Mickey and Donald. You can see them here. Okay, back to Gantt chart. Now I will show you fourth project. Fourth project also use Donald and Mickey. Resource sheet, Donald, Mickey, Jim. Let me erase Jim. Okay, let's go to a resource, resource pool, share resources, own resources. So both projects are using their own resources. Okay, now let me create a master for project for third and fourth project. For this purpose, let me be 100% sure that I have accurate data. I will going to save third and fourth project and let's go create master project. For this master project, I will go to in project, sub project, and I will go to my desktop and I will choose third project. Insert. And I will go here and I will choose fourth project. Insert. You will see that when I expand it, I will not be asked to open a source pool there because it doesn't exist. Now, let's go here in view, in the source sheet, and you will see that I have Mickey Donald, Mickey Donald. If I change here, Mickey to Mickey Mouse, and Donald to Donald Duck, okay, you will see when I go to Gantt chart that this is for my first project, okay, and in, in my case, first project in this master project, which is called third project, okay? So I have Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. Okay, now be aware when you have resources where, uh, which have same names, it will be a little bit difficult because let's suppose that you have 10 projects and each of project has John as resource. They are considered as different resource and you will be it will be hard to tell which, if you want to change a uh, name to th uh, that particular resource for, uh, let's say, John to John Wayne, you will not be aware to which project it belongs, okay? Maybe to try here and you will see to which this uh, uh, resource, to which project this resource belongs. So use project file when you have multiple resources on the, uh, on the master project. That is first advice. Now, let's go straight and let me say that for, uh, in master project, I have also Nenad and Tim as resources, but not in third project in, or in four project. Let me first of all wrap this, this is annoying. Okay, let's go right here, wrap text, Okay, once again, wrap text, and that's it. So I want two tasks for master project. I will hit insert button here, or I can, once again, I can uh, uh, right click here and say insert task. So I will have here, let's say task, oh, no, 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 here, task one for master project. And let me copy this here, and I will rename it as task two. Okay, this will be two days, three days, who cares? And I want to use, let's say, Nenad and Tim. 
if I go here, now be aware, if I go here and I add Nenad and Tim, and if I go to GAN chart, I will not be able to use them because they belong, let's go back here, to fourth projects. Fourth project. If I go here, okay, let's say Nenad and Tim, I will raise them. If I go here and say, okay, insert, and I put Nenad, it will belong to third project. Why? Because I am on the third project. So it doesn't work that way. What can I do? Can I put Nenad and go here? And I can erase that. No, I cannot. Can I choose something? No, I cannot. So obviously, I cannot use resource for tasks which doesn't belong to, uh, uh, to master project. Or I can. So here is the trick. You cannot do it via resource sheet. Let's go back to gun chart. Let's type here Nenad. Okay? And type here Jim. Let's go here. Is Nenad available? No. Let's go here in, in uh, project four, fourth project. Is Nenad available? No. So let's go to resource sheet. You, you will see Nena the Gym Master Project for, for third and fourth project. So basically, once again, I will erase them and I will say Nenad, but I am not able to click. When I click here, this is not editable field. So if you want to have specific resource and you then want to put the, uh, the, the, the initials, to put the maximum, uh, maximal uh, units, to the, uh, put the standard rate or overtime rate, put the cost use, whatever. You cannot create it here. You should go to GAN chart, and on that specific task, here, put Nenad, and you will see that I can use it here, or, and put here, let's say, team, and I can use Nenad and team in every single task, let me ask third task. So let's say, let me copy this one. Let me rename it. So task three, sorry, task three. Come on, come on, no, don't be in a hurry. Nenad and team are here. So you should put resource names under resource name on the GAN chart, not via resource sheet. And then when you put them uh, in uh, the GAN chart, not via resource sheet. You can use them and change whatever you want to resource sheet. For example, okay, let's put notes here and say, okay, Nenad, Nenad, Nenad is doing a lot of typos. Okay, or I can put here, let's say, 200. Okay, whatever, and now I can, I can, uh, I will have it. So basically, when you use, to conclude this video, when you use resource uh, 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 master project with project in which you have multi one or multiple projects with their own uh, resources without resource pool, and you have uh, uh, some number of tasks which belongs to master project itself, not to uh, sub-projects, you cannot create resource via resource sheet, but you should put them directly on resource name and then edit them in the resource sheet as you can see here. Hope this helps, be careful, and see you soon.